Still no sign of her. Oi, we'll keep a lid on it later. No hijacking. Ooh, letter. It's not like Carla held back. <laughs> Liam's father has chosen to read from the book of Matthew. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain. And when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. Another drama queen. They Exit shall stage the left. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Listen, if we can just get through today. Tomorrow will be better, will it? The day after that, you'll still be dead. He's dead. You know what I feel like? I feel like I want to march in there. Right down to the front to where that stupid box is that put him in. And tell them all he loved me. What good would that do, eh? They'd know. All right then, Mum. Just think of the harm it'd do. I don't care. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I really, deeply, honestly don't. Would you like a drink or...? Have you found Rosa? No, sorry. And no thanks to the drink. So, what's this development? On Sunday the 26th of October at 12.34pm, a cash withdrawal was made from your daughter's account using a valid PIN number. So took cash out where from? The cash machine was in Crumpsall. But was Rosie conscientious about pin numbers, cash cards? Rosie wouldn't put her money at risk. Well, you don't think it was her or something? They must have cameras, cash machines. Well, whoever it was kept themselves well hidden. What if she didn't want to be found? But we're looking at more CCTV footage from the area. We'll keep you posted. I just thought you'd want to know. Right, thanks. We'll be in touch. It has to be her. And now, could I ask Liam's nephew, Ryan, to come up here and read? And, um... As, as Moses... Something he said to me when me Uncle Paul died. I, I got myself in the right state. And I said to Uncle Liam, How do I know that everyone's not just going to disappear on me? Like my dad. Like my Uncle Paul. And he said, You don't. 
That's what I thought, oh great, it's her. He said, the trick is to make the most of the people that matter to you every day. He said it to me a lot after that. Making the most, kidder. So if I was kicking off about something, or when that stuff happened about who my mum was, making the most, kidder. But with him it was making the most, kidder. I'm not supposed to make the most now, Uncle Liam. <laughs> You're not here. I accept your apology. I'll come over and you can grovel. Yeah, it'd be good to talk. Talk? I think I said grovel. A cup of with milk and a no sugar discount if you've got it, which you haven't. It's funny how you're called Blanche, isn't it? Funny? Yeah, well, don't people Blanche? Have you heard that right? Like, um, when someone says something rude, she's blanched. Some people do say it, yes. Yeah. And then you, what says out, oh, what comes into your egg gets called blanche, eh? It's brilliant. I don't think character can accurately be judged in the earliest weeks of a baby's life. And if it could, she'd have been christened common, and you'd have had fun. <laughs> Are you going to tell me how much? <laughs> now, hey. Yay! She's blanched! <laughs> no, today, your charges are dropped! It's worth every penny just to keep on saying it. Your charges are dropped. You and me both love. Well, I'll have one of them bakewells to take out. Keep me blood sugar level up for the meeting. What, what meeting's that? Extraordinary meeting of the one o'clock club at half past three. <laughs> It's 5p. Keep it, then. I'm not so sure Blanche suits her. She should have one of them double-barrelled names, like... Ungrateful Cow. If I hadn't have said no to him... If it had just said yeah... If I'd have said that, he wouldn't be it. Carla, he said no for a reason. I looked him right in the eye and said I didn't love him. Having a wee social? You okay? Tony! Tony! They need you for the coffin, my love. Audrey! Audrey, it's fine. That tall bloke's gonna step in, you know where? Marie's mum's husband. Maria's dad? Together. Oh, Keller, what's the world coming to? Mm. How long were you with uh, Gail's dad for? We are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace, and raise up his body on the last day. Amen. 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 Maria, <laughs> my love, for Liam, eh?
on now. Come on, let's hear it. No, 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 no. Go on. Go on, Uncle Barry. Your Auntie Helen's the singer, not me. I am not. <laughs> oh, Michelle, then. I swear, Ryan. Sing party sick, no. Liam used to it. He did indeed, yeah. Again, again, again. And that was when he was 25. <laughs> There's still so much I didn't know about him yet. Well, look, there's no harm in learning about him now, sweetheart. He was obviously special to a lot of people. Defo. Me body is all black and blue. Me face a deathly grip. Grey and... I and I write this note to say why Paddy's not at work today. I love. How's Ryan? Wants to be on his own. Poor oh, kid. So I hoisted you up doing? and secured the ropes oh, yeah. below. In my Stay place to plates. do the job I was too blind to see. Now a barrel load of building bricks was heavier than me. <laughs> Liz, can I have a large red wine, please? Yes, love. Good to throw it down yourself. Why would I do that? Oh, I don't know. Just to make sure everyone's looking at you. Now, hang on, hang on, there's more, there's more. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. <laughs> Are you sure you're safe, Haley? Sounds like there's some kind of civil disturbance taking. Oh, a party. Another classroom finished. Well... Congratulations. Be sure to email me the photographs. Yeah, I, I'm keeping a virtual album. Although the, the last attachment was rather large, perhaps you could deliver the next consignment by hand. You mean... Let, now, let me be clear here. What exactly are you saying? This is my morning face. Morning? Mm, as in, um, dead folk. Not as in morning after the night before. You won't want to see that face again. Sorry. <clears throat> so what have the police said? Well, that's the problem. Problem? I need to give you the news without this lot thinking I'm being what's it. You know, what's it? Um, wrong mood? Inappropriate. Yeah, because... Stevie boy, all charges have been dropped. Don't smile. We're off the hook. Okay, now go get us a drink, Uh, excuse me. Excuse, uh, hello, everybody. Excuse me, sorry. Hiya. Um, well, we've uh, we's got the champagne in for you, cos, um, even though he weren't us boss anymore, he was still best by miles. Oh, sorry, no offence. We mean, we were glad to know him. Yeah. So, Mr. Connor, our Liam. 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 <laughs> She's sensitive. She did well. Are you okay? I think I've stayed an acceptable length of time now, don't you? So you're leaving? Helen, don't. Why not? I mean, it's her do, isn't it? Her day. Never mind us. Never mind poor Maria. You always did despise me, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. At least not until today, when I watched some stranger step out of the queue to carry my dead son's coffin. Come and sit down. A man who'd never even met him. I'm sorry, I just thought... Bearing my son's body to his grave. I was only trying to help. It's not you. I never meant to pull Tony out of the church. Look, well, she's upset. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, everybody is on it. I'm sorry, I was worried, that's all. Yes, worried about her. Helen, please don't. Maria, love, come on, sit down. Come on. For goodness sake, Liam wouldn't want people rowing, would he? Look, this isn't Carla's fault. She was his sister-in-law, she's going to be upset. Wouldn't be an Irish funeral without a good scrap, eh? Yeah, well, I don't think the little one in here needs to listen to a good scrap, actually. Helen. I weren't mean though, you know, before about you being a bad boss or anything. Just um, got carried away, you know, it tossed in and that. Mother! I thought she was at that Lord's meeting with you. So did I. 
time I got there, she was already barred. Barred? <sighs> For publicly demanding that Nancy Gaskill take her shoe off and show everybody her cloven hoof. She wouldn't, though. What does that tell you? Mother, it's a pilgrimage we're going on. You can't go round accusing people of being the devil. All she done was allocate coach seats. And who got next to the portaloo? Who bought you that? I'm going away. Away? Away where? I don't know. I just feel I need to. When? Soon as. What you need is a good long rest. Away from people. You can get that here with me. Do you not qualify as people? Oh, Carla, stop this now. I'm here for you. Your fiancé. The man who's going to spend the rest of his life with you. I'll call us a cab and talk with us at home. He's got a way of laughing at what I say that's like... I don't know, like, he just likes the way that I say it. <laughs> You're here. I told you observation was his superpower. I'm there, um... Could you get some milk, please? Biscuits, then. Well, we've got some in. Just out, then. I'm glad you're taking my advice on listening to her more. I need to be honest with you. No cup of tea, no glass of wine. I don't think we share the same definition of groveling. No. I get the impression I'm not stopping. It wasn't going to work. It being us, yes? We aren't going to work. Because? Because. I can't see a way of making it, uh, us work. You know what? I thought you were worth cutting through all this, whatever it is, interested one minute, going cold on me the next. I thought, there's something about him something, I don't know, decent. I don't want to hurt you. Intense, yes. Moody, I don't yes. want to hurt you. You're not the only one who gets nervous starting a relationship. Do you know how hard I've had to work to cope with all your mixed messages? I think maybe I've been wrong. You're not a decent man, struggling. You're just a game player. I don't want to. Fight it. If you want, I can get you something to help you sleep. I don't want to sleep. I want to look after you. I can't do that if you've gone off somewhere. It's what I want. That's the cab. You go ahead, have a nice bath. I'll lock up. Make sure there's nothing needs doing here so we don't have to come back tomorrow. Carla, it's been a long, tough day. I'm sorry if I was harsh, I was just trying to get you through it. Not push you out of reach. You are a loving, sensitive, emotional person. Please, 
Let me take care of you. Keep her safe. The heat is on in the last in the series of Wired. The news is at 10, and later on at 10.40, it's time for the natural-born sellers to go green. And don't forget, you're only ever a click away from Coronation Street and lots more at stv.tv slash video.